By 2020, China plans to give all of its 1.4 billion citizens a personal score based on how they behave. So some people with low scores are already being pushed if they want, already being punished rather, if they want to travel. Nearly 11 million Chinese people can no longer fly and 4 million are barred from trains. Next week, the program will start expanding nationwide. Ben Tracy is in China with what's behind the government's scoring system. Ben, this sounds like scary stuff. Good morning. Good morning. The government here says it is trying to purify society by rewarding those who are trustworthy and punishing those who are not. So like the credit score that most Americans get for how they handle their finances, Chinese citizens are now getting social credit scores based on everything from whether they pay their taxes on time to how they cross the street. When Liu Hu recently tried to book a flight, he was told he was banned from flying because he's on the list of untrustworthy people. Leo was a journalist who was ordered by a court to apologize for a series of tweets he wrote and was then told his apology was insincere. I can't buy property. My child can't go to private school, he says. You feel you're being controlled by the list all the time. And the list is now getting longer, as every Chinese citizen is being assigned a social credit score a fluctuating rating based on a range of behaviors. It's believed that community service and buying Chinese-made products can raise your score. Fraud, tax evasion, and smoking in non-smoking areas can drop it. If a score gets too low, a person can be banned from buying plane and train tickets, real estate, cars, and even high-speed internet.